Table complete to complete a table. Table completion. Even if this is your first time coming across that name in your IELTS preparation journey, I want to believe you have seen something like this during your IELTS listening practice. If you've not, it's not something to worry about. That's why you are here, Tutoria IELTS Band 8 Academy. Table completion is so common in IELTS listening that you can come across it in any section of your test. This is why you must understand how to answer questions that fall into this category. As the name implies, you have to complete a table which contains some blanks. Let me pop this up again. When you have table completion questions, ensure you read the instruction because the possible word count for the answers in that part is always indicated. The instruction write one word and slash or a number means that your answer could be a single word, a number, or a combination of the two, depending on what you get from the recording. Some instructions are simple as write one word only, while some others could seem complex. For example, write no more than two words and slash or a number. With this, your answer could be one word, two words, one number, one number plus a word, or two words plus a number. That's what that means so watch out how do you watch out with your ears to fetch the appropriate word or words or a number to fill in each blank on your table it's no news that the recording plays just once but before the recording for a new set of questions begins you should hear something like you have some time to look at questions one to six when you hear this please look at your questions this time your table okay this part is supposed to be the name of a person this part is the arrival time for an event um this part is supposed to be the year something was established by the time the associated recording starts playing you are equipped to identify the correct answers from the large stretch of sounds let's test this with a set of questions on the screen before you hear the rest of the conversation you have some time to look at questions six to ten now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. By the way, how much will I have to pay in fares? Well, you can get a ticket on the bus for $1.80 cash and you'll need $10 each way for the train. Wait, do you have a travel link card? No, but I can get one before tomorrow. OK, well that'll make it considerably cheaper then. The bus will cost $1.50 each way and the train will be... The train to Harbour City will still cost ten dollars because you'll be traveling during peak hours in the morning so no savings there i'm afraid however if you could come back at an off-peak time what does that mean well if you could start your return journey before 5 p.m or later than half past seven in the evening actually i wasn't planning on coming back till at least eight o'clock anyway oh in that case you can make quite a saving if you use your travel link card you did say you were planning to purchase one didn't you yes i'll pick one up later today good that would mean your return train journey would only cost you $7.15 with your card. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, there is. Do you know if I can use the travel link card on ferries? If you're thinking of the Harbour City ferries that go back and forth between the North and South Bank, those are the commuter ferries, then yes. A one-way trip costs $4.50, but with your card you'd make a 20% saving and only pay $3.55. So $3.55 for the commuter ferry. What about the tour boats? You mean the tourist ferries that go upriver on sightseeing tours? No, they only take cash or credit card. They're not part of the Travel Link company. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you know the cost of a tour? In actual fact, I do, because I took a friend on the trip upriver just last week. We decided on the afternoon tour, and that was $35 each, but I understand that you can do the whole day for $65. Thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. Enjoy your day out. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. How was it? Here are the answers on the screen. This is only a start, so you shouldn't feel bad if you didn't get them right this time. Keep on practicing. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it helpful, kindly like it, subscribe to this channel, 
and turn on your post notification and don't forget to invite your friends. Access our ultimate IELTS preparatory course that prepares you to get not less than a band 8.0 in your IELTS test by clicking the link in the description below. Bye.